Oh, you were watching the new Star Wars teaser for the 10,000th time. Oh my god, so good! You may have missed Dartmouth's mechanical tackling dummy, Boeing's portable laser cannon, and furniture made from fungi. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we take our Saturday morning workouts as seriously as the North Korean army. And after you're done stomping faces, why not put your newly honed ninja skills to the test on this tackle bot? Engineering students at Dartmouth College created a robot to replace football tackling dummies that look an awful lot like weebles on steroids. The remote-controlled mobile virtual player, or MVP, get it? MVP? Feels more like crushing your enemy than regular stationary bags. It also protects players from potential head and neck injuries. If Atari was right, however, we still have about 57 years until these balling bots take over the field. Used to be that if you wanted to burn a UAV out of the sky, you'd have to use a laser cannon mounted onto the back of a huge truck. But now, Boeing shrunk all that drone-destroying power into the size of a couple suitcases. The device is controlled with an Xbox controller and switches to autonomous tracking once a UAV comes within range. All the soldier has to do is pull the trigger and two seconds later, BOOM! DOA drone. Look no further than the island of plastic floating in the Pacific, and you know the material is a major environmental issue. Scientists in Europe are searching for a replacement and might have found it. Fungus. Several groups are testing fungi as a substitute for wood and cork, and even rubber and glass. The materials are strong, lightweight, and biodegradable. Packaging, it's meant to be thrown away. Designer Eric Kay even 3D prints his scaffolds out of potato starch. And now, TLDR, because words. The Pentagon is teaming with Silicon Valley to create wearable devices. Discovery Channel launched a VR video site. Apple's now the second biggest wearable maker behind Fitbit. One billion people logged onto Facebook on Monday, and Instagram opened up to landscape and portrait photos. Carrie will be back on Tuesday, and I'll be out. See ya.